Hi, and welcome to the Engineering Design Process Learning Experience. We'll explore how engineers and young inventors use a step-by-step -step process to solve problems. Engineering is the use of technology, science, and math to solve multiple different problems. For example, engineers design safer cars, larger and faster airplanes, renewable energy products like solar panels, and medical products used to help sick or injured people. As engineers and inventors solve problems, they work through steps which require them to ask, explore, model, evaluate, and explain their design. The first young inventor we'll learn about is Cassidy Goldstein. Cassidy was 11 years old when she invented the crayon holder, a simple device used to hold broken or worn out crayons to make drawing with them easier. The first step in using a design process to solve a problem is to ask, what is the problem? Engineers and inventors need to make sure they understand the problem completely before they can create a successful solution. In Cassidy's case, the problem is that crayons become difficult to use when they break or get worn down. Have you ever had problems using a broken crayon or one that's been used so much it's just a small stub? Not too easy, is it? Once you have defined the problem, you're ready to explore. In this stage of the design process, engineers and inventors brainstorm and sketch ideas of how the problem can be solved. When Cassidy was brainstorming how to solve the problem of crayons becoming difficult to use when they wear down or break, she used a clear plastic tube that was originally designed to hold water for a cut flower. The next step in the engineering design process is model. In this step, the engineer or inventor selects the best possible solution for the problem and may build a model. Cassidy took her idea and started to sketch out details for her design, using the sketches to figure out exactly how her product would work. She even used those sketches for her patent application. A patent is a document that says the idea belongs to that person. After engineers and inventors build a model, they perform tests to find out how well the idea solved or did not solve the problem. This is the evaluate step of the design process. Do you think Cassidy's solution worked? Yes, the crayon holder held a short, broken crayon to make it usable again. The explain step of the design process involves sharing your design with others. By explaining your product and the process you use to create it, other people will learn about your invention. In Cassidy's example, she agreed to a licensing deal that made her crayon holder available in stores. She has also had her invention featured in the news. Young inventors are responsible for many products that provide solutions for human wants and needs. Some of these inventions include earmuffs, the trampoline, and the braille alphabet. Now that you know a little about a real young inventor and the engineering design process, think about how you can use this process to make your own inventions.